Hey everybody, welcome back to Spin Rack. I'm here with my boys, PD and Cal. Say what's up, guys. What's going on? Oh. Ready to rock, people. Hey man, you won't believe it, but Holy Terror rears his ugly head again. That's Frank Miller's book. <laughs> you know, his uh his his um his book regarding that, the... is, not the, that is not what stop it. You are it, told that it, it, it totally, totally rears his head again. Totally you know? biased. I, I'm not biased. No, he's trying. You know, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make news, right? You're trying to make news, right? Okay. <laughs> so, holy in, terror! Rears its head again. No, rears so the first time. The, the, basically, the thought bubble. Um, <laughs> the thought bubble festival. Sorry, festival has canceled, or uh, or um, Frank Miller has um, has not agreed to join because the Safe Space Brigade basically tried to cancel him out. They were bringing up stuff regarding his. Writing of the um, Holy Terror, which once again, Holy Holy Terror, this which game. brings up, uh, which basically is a, a lot of people consider an anti-Muslim um, bit Islamophobic. of Islamophobic, uh, Islamophobic um, bit of writing. So uh, here, I'm going to talk to the boys and see what they think about this. I'm going to bring out the PDPD. Give me your thoughts. I mean, this thing was panned when it came out in 2011, and now it's still We're going on, even though. Even though Frank Miller has right, apologized, you're trying to make the story about Holy Terror, in which I mean, it's a good way to make it a hot topic. But ultimately, Frank Miller was going to be a guest of the Thought Bubble Festival in the UK. He was going to be a big name. This is trying to get people to come out. He's a big name. His you know his signatures go for high prices. You know he's a big draw in these things. He's always sort of entertaining. And it's fun to have them at these things. But this person, I'm not, I'm not familiar with their work, Shortbox. She, as a proud was Muslim woman, had issue with Frank Miller because of his anti-Muslim hate, which she saw from this book, Holy Terror, which is Holy Terror is actually this guy, the fixer, versus the terrorists. So I mean, if you can say that, you know, that we have terrorists, and we, this was started after 9/11. We did this book about the Holy Terror, which started as a Batman thing that was heavily publicized by DC, but it got later and later and later. And then at some point they broke off ties. Cal will point out some other things that he said he heard about this, but ultimately they broke ties. Batman Miller was going to go even harder with it since he didn't have DC. And basically, basically this Batman type character is experiences 9-11, so experience the towers exploding. You see the past individually, how he does it, even though it's rougher, Frank Miller stuff, is a true visualization of the explosion and the people, the lo people we lost. And then that character gets into his whatever his thing and goes attacks and 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 stops the terrorists, right? So then this is years past. Um, Frank Miller, you know, has gone through some health things. He's come back into the community with the stuff he did for DC. As um, Mars had brought up in the past, he talked about it and he hasn't, you know, he, you know, he said, wasn't cl thinking clearly when I said those things. So he did have sort of pullback on the project. And um, ultimately he's been to cons before, um, you know, post, post um, Holy Terror with no sort of- Yeah, you know, a, whole, a whole bunch of them. So th this comes out of, it, it, it's so self-serving at the end of the day. Okay, because I would love to go and check. Cause like, have you ever been at a con with Frank Miller before? So, you know, was this an issue? And then everybody else, oh, I could never. Did any of you, any of you guys that you know the cons with Frank Miller before? It's an event. It's just, it's just ridiculous at the end of the day. Holy terror! That, to be honest, me boycotting because of holy terror, I'd have a better chance boycotting for Dark Knight Strikes Again. That I would probably get more people, you know, and you know, in the pocket with me, like, yeah. I can't see myself going. And I could probably find as much stuff to slate for that at the end of the day. So it's, this is just really self-serving. This is literally like somebody sitting back and, you know what? I'm not going to go. We don't care if you go or not. But the, the draw is Frank Miller. And then we can come over here, make some news, make some buzz, you know, with Frank Miller at the end of the day. And Miller's probably looking at it like, well, you know what? No sweat off, you know, no sweat. I won't show. That's Wasn't getting paid that much anyway. And that's ultimately, you know, they put out their, um, Thought Bubble put out their statement and Frank Miller will not be attending Thought Bubble. But, um, you know, that's one of the things you had these people and I don't know, I, I, when we talked about it separately, you know, it's, we had these names of people that are saying that they're bailing on it and that sort of thing. And 
and that sort of stuff. But at the same time, you know, I don't know. Some things we can move on about some of these things. Obviously, he's, Miller has shown the error of his ways. I don't think the media, as far as the uh, Islamic thing, because they're kind of still doing the stuff of pointing out who the, you know, who did, the, you know, cause 9 11, but they kind of give you a sort of some of the people in the, those areas. But I don't know. The hard part is, is that this is, they're making it, they're making this thing about something that's from 2011, right? And I know on the internet, nothing dies. And it's just, and they're making it so, whereas ultimately it's something that, um, I don't know, they, they could, the comment could be put, if she has an issue, I don't know, you could just, she could just bail, but this is sort of having people sort of pile on and this is another internet pile on and, you know, thought bubble folded. And of course they, they are the ones who promoted them. They know, they knew about holy terror, you know. Everybody knew about holy terror. This is not news. And then if you have a problem with it, if she, no, no, we're not talking about you. We're talking about people, people <laughs> making the people making the con. Okay, that type of stuff. Everybody knew about Holy. Everybody knew about. If you know Frank Miller, I'm very certain you know majority. You know the the, the major hits and flubs of his work. So that, that's going without a doubt. But then the person's like, "Oh, I'm not going." Hey, if you didn't want to go, you could just say, "I'm not going." That's it. Okay, and then privately, well, I'm not going because of Frank Miller. But then it's like, no, I'm making this an announcement. I'm taking the stand. And who's with me? <laughs> Come on, y'all. We're yeah. up. So, we're... I, 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 I'm, I'm totally in agreement with you guys in that, yeah, this thing's from 2011, and definitely the cons definitely knew about it. I mean, look, we've been to several cons ourselves where prom Frank Miller has been prominently um, hit, placed, and we've seen the lines of people going up to Frank Miller to get his um, autographs. And Costly I mean, autograph. Hmm? Costly. Yeah, but this $100 is $100 a pop, and it's not going <laughs> down. But the point is, is that Damn. that's what she should have said. She should have said, you know what, Frank? You should do some free signings for Holy Terror. <laughs> and, and, you know, and you Holy should Terror do a whole free signing. Free, let's Holy go. Terror. Let's get it. <laughs> Holy Terror is clearly, as I said, didn't make a distinction, didn't make a lot of distinctions between the terrorists and Islam as a whole, where it came yeah. off being yeah. Islamic. Yeah. I mean, here, the, we're ending the war in Afghanistan, and we're bringing back the translators and their families who helped us there. And you have to make those distinctions. And most of the people who, 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 who have died in terrorist attack by Islamic militants or Islamic terrorists have actually been Muslims. And you know, people forget that, that they've suffered more than everyone else from Syria, from Iraq, or wherever. Well, um, let's not, I don't want to get too, I don't want to get too far down that thing. Okay, because all right, Miller we'll was I, trying to exercise a certain point. Okay, and I, the, I see the point. The point that he, and the point that holy terror was going after was that, look, these are terrorists. We don't have to treat them nicely. We don't have to treat them kindly. These people mean us no good. And then in the same vein, where you're saying, where they're saying, okay, we don't want to look at, you know, we're not going to look at everyone who is a Muslim or Islam as this large terrorist entity, like it's Cobra or something of that nature, or GI Joe. But Miller's like, well, why not? That's how they view us. You know, they don't, they don't want to attack the military. They want to attack citizens. They want to attack regular citizens. They want to just kill us and so on and so forth. So we should have that same type of vitriol, you know, towards them. And that's what's being, that's a lot of what uh, is filed in Holy Terror. Now, of course, why does his argument fall flat? Because it's America. And, you know, you have Amer Americans are from all different walks and stripes of life. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't work at the end of the day because we do try to hold ourselves to a higher standard than a terrorist. So it's not going to work. It, you know, it doesn't work at the end of the day. But it's just a bad story. I mean, it's just a bad story at the end of the day. I agree with you can't you. take that story seriously. But, it's, but it, I agree with you there. But, you know, the reality is, is that it's just such a small minority of people, those terrorists that do it. And when you paint everybody so everybody in the group in the same light, it's not cool. So it's look, a small minority in this book. This like, you know what? He literally flies from, that's where the book falls apart, when he actually flies to where the terrorists are. Like, how did he figure that out? Well, we got to make the jump. <laughs> It's ten years. It's ten years from when it happened, so that's where he made the jump. No, I mean, I'm saying that the idea is that he, um, you know, it's a hard story to do because it's like you got to do tracking, weird, all that stuff. None of that stuff is in the book. So, and then to round it out, how big would this be? Like a freaking thing like this? I mean, it's just propaganda. They I mean, just look at the propaganda. propaganda. He, he he the story. The and he's saying the propaganda is just propaganda, like how he was saying initially. It was propaganda, like World War II propaganda. How we uh, demonize the Germans, how we demonize the, uh, the, the, the Japanese, right? But we didn't intern the, the, 
the um, Jap the, the Germans. We didn't turn the Italians. Yeah, we, we did. Uh, yeah, we did. No, we not didn't. to the extent, not to the extent that they did with any people of Asian descent, who, who Japanese or Muslim. Nowhere Japanese, near. Bro, but you did. But you did have term You did have internment camps. Very, very, very minuscule regard. Repli according that's, to the no, no, no. That's not the point. You said we didn't do it. We did right, do it. So don't try to so walk it back it's now. So small, so small, it doesn't even count. It's so small, it doesn't oh, even count. But you got. You go, you're going to talk go, to people who are of German descent who got interred and say, "Oh, your internment didn't count." What are I'm you doing? Talk, you break the I'm saying it's not the same. It's not the same when you have a whole population who lost their jobs, who lost their businesses, and a whole group of people were exiled because, or exiled and put in internment camps. Oh, because, now you're affecting. You know, you're moving. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm and not we would have to have a whole show as to what happened during little, this internment. What happened during this internment? When Americans, you decided to do your own version of whole the war, they weren't saying. You can do all of that. away I told you to do it. You got to be totally. You were wrong. Just it's admit you were wrong. We can move on. The same thing. You know what I'm trying to say? Well, uh, when the U.S. Go government has apologized for the, are you, for the, for the are, you a, are you a Nazi? Uh, that's what you're saying. How can we do? How can we outside of Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not do? You you don't want to demonize the Nazis? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying we can demonize the Nazis, but we didn't we didn't round up all the German Americans. You and say yo, we got, we got to put these guys sinking together. in it's your not, own not, quicksand. Okay. It doesn't you're, you're it's seen, stop. Um, what's that thing? What's that Tarantino movie? The Inglorious Bastards, where they basically they're just terrible Nazis, and they and they actually get to we actually get to win the way we want to win on film, where we burn them up and the, and all that stuff. You saw all that thing. We got we even got Hitler. We actually saw that we got Hitler in it, and people it's call it cathartic. Oh, huh? Not the same. They didn't know they called it cathartic. Catharsis is like, it, it, we felt. We 40 felt years later, 40 years later, 40 years later. Come on, that movie didn't come out in 19. What I'm saying, there's not, my point of bringing it up is not that. My point is more about the, you know, there's no negative backlash of saying, hey, where's the well-rounded? No, they say, well, we like Christoph Waltz. He's great. When he was the, he was terrible. There's no redeeming. have a well-rounded Nazi? <laughs> That's what they want? <laughs> well-rounded terrorists. That's not what we're saying. That's not what we're saying at all, OK? But look, getting oh, back oh I know. We want, we're 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 we want the about. sympathetic. We want the sympathetic terrorist. There is no one saying that. I think you definitely put words in my mouth. I never said that. You said, said it. You were. You went with Nazi first, and we got Jack Kirby somewhere, and he's going to. said in Nazi terms of the Nazi. Up. We said in term. We were talking about in terms of the internment, where the Japanese were the ones who were mostly interred, right? And that there's no comparison to the German Americans being interred or tying that what happened to the to, to the Japanese. That was a point where that came up. You know, Nazis are, you know, th those are our classic enemies. And they've been our classic enemies till now. I mean, they got combo guys, you know, what Hydra is, a, is is based on the Nazis. And we're still using them, what, 50, 60 years, 70 years later, you know? That's why, they, that's why um, um, I mean, we had, I'm joking about it, because obviously, you know, um, that's why they had the Marvel's like, hey, we want every market we could possibly get. So, Oh uh, yeah, there was this Nazi, this, this German thing, but we have Hydra. Hydra, they wasn't going far enough, so we made Hydra. <laughs> it's like after the Cold War, nobody's got to feel bad about these particular actions. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have, you know, we got. The, I mean, no, this is like, what is it? Uh, people argue about that. What do you have? You have the sympathetic slave master. Like, hey, all these other slave masters are horrible, but this guy's not too bad. He's not too bad. Who's being, being a slave man is okay. Same with this Nazi totally over awesome here. Uh, We're not even talking. He's polite. He's yeah. polite. They're totally off base now. Totally off base. You know? Uh, I don't know. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Holy terror. Totally you bad it. story. Okay? Bad story. And not because, and, and not only uh, because of the bent of the story, but because the story itself is bad. You know, just like Petey said, it's like, okay, how did you find the terrorist? Doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We don't need to, we don't need to do all that. We're just gonna come over here and I'm gonna take out all my frustrations on these fictional characters, or rather these fiction, these caricatures at the end of the day. And I mean, looking back on it, I'm certain looking back on it, no one looks back on it, it's like, look, if anything, as a writer, and without a doubt, Frank Miller is a talented creator, and you know, in terms of art and story. He probably looks back on that and says, you know what? I don't necessarily regret doing it. I probably regret the execution where I probably, I had an idea and I executed it so poorly, you know, so poorly, you know, that no, there's only one thing you can take away from it at the end of the day. But there is an argument to be made there. Why should we 
you know, not why shouldn't we just come over here and run ripshot over these guys and anybody who harbors them or anybody who even looks like them? Why shouldn't we just do it? We're protecting ourselves. We didn't go after them. They came after us. Well, OK, you got to explain that through your story and explain that through your story so that other people can walk away with, you know, with at least some thought regarding it and not just, uh, well, you know, it's almost like a three stooges, like <laughs> it's almost like, you know, the three stooges. <laughs> The three stooges go and you know attack the terrorists. You can hear the music in the background with some of the panels. Wah, wah, wah. Now, wait a second. Now, wait a second, sir. Now, wait a second, sir. It might be, it might, that might, you might be true, but at the same time, <laughs> no, it's all, I mean, in truth to say, the exploration of art to see what he was doing and how he visualized certain things, like it was actually the like I'm doing going for the nails and saying this is his visualization of this thing and the loss of the people. It's some of the, you know, most powerful things you can see. And the next thing is like, what's Commissioner Gordon doing here? Like what's like you got, got all of this sort of like really rough like in there. The next thing you know, Commissioner Gordon is like, eh, there's nothing you could have done here. There's nothing you can do when you see what's Commissioner Gordon? Like at least if you're gonna go to um, you know, like Giuliani, like he was sort of a figure. And that's that that makes it a story that would have been so large to tell. And I'm not sure even with all that, it would have been any better. It would not What's have Commissioner been. Gordon doing in Holy Terror. What was Commissioner Gordon doing in the Justice League movie? What was that about? Explain that one to me. I can't. <laughs> Since when is Commissioner Gordon a fixture in a Justice League story? When did that happen? He's on a tear right now. We can't stop. He's like, bring it home, Cal. <laughs> I probably should just step out and let you Big go. finish. No, no. I mean, I don't mean that. I mean, the, the all points are very strong. All strong very strong. A bad, bad, bad story. But the problem I'm seeing now with the internet is that something could have happened 10 years ago, 30 years ago, 80 years ago. You just read it today. It might as well have just happened today. Yes. My reaction is today. I don't have anything. To, and the, the striking thing about it is that when we learn history in school, you know, we're reading out of these texts and everything. We don't have that type of reaction. For some reason, reading it out of a book, you have a more sobered approach to it. Like, oh, okay, so on and so forth. These guys act like it really did happen yesterday, if not that morning. And we got to go over here and do something. I didn't know about it, so it must have just happened today. No, this happened well over 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, and it's not like you, justice denied you, I for Frank Miller. It's just a bad I, story. I agree with you right there that, you know, this thing, the whole thing with this cancel culture is that you have people reading something and then that's it. They're not going back. They're not trying to read. They're not trying to find out what happened for them. Oh, he said this once and it's done. He has to be canceled. And, you know, people do do mistakes. They do bad things, but there's no point in redeeming anyone. That's what the cancel culture is. Once you've done something that I now I classify as bad, you know, it's over. It's a wrap. You're done. We, just, we don't even want to see you. We don't want to deal with you. And that's not, that's not the way to go about things. You know, if there's someone who's done something that you feel that's offended them and, and then of course it's now you need to contact go there and, 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 and reach out and say, yo, listen, what you did is wrong. And a lot of times people have the, the, people are willing to review some of the things that they've done. You know what I'm trying to say? They may not always agree with your point of view and the points of view can diverge, but probably the way it went about was not the way. And in this situation, Frank Miller has expressed some remorse regarding what he, he put out. You know, he said there was a lot of anger and when he put this stuff out, he, when he reads it, he says that there's a lot of anger involved in it. You know, um, that's something that he would have done again if he had the, the choice. So, you know, I definitely understand that. You know, like I said, um, revisiting it, you know, how, how many times is this gonna come? I mean, every time he goes to a conference or something, someone's gonna bring it back up. You know, it's gonna be following him for the next, what, 20 years or so, it's 10 years already. It came out in 2011. So it's gonna come out another, for another 10 years. It's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. Um, you know, I mean, there's other things you can get other people on, you know, but a lot of times, I mean, things have changed. I mean, what was acceptable when we were younger is very different now from the, the, what people accept now. You know, people don't accept certain type of behavior that happened in the past that you're like, hey, of course, everybody's supposed to. The quarterback is always supposed to be this type of guy, no matter what. And you're like, what? You know, things have changed. It's just how it is. And, you know, people go with the flow. Now, back then, they wouldn't have, but now they, they have. And I think we just have to understand that. And it's definitely the younger people, because that's tend, that who I tend to find out a lot of times tend to be a lot more strident than, than anyone else. They're like, oh, they did it wrong, and that's it. There's no change in this. And no, we're, we're never going to get anywhere in that in that situation. That's my take on it. All right. 
Let's close out. It's completely.